Whoa. Did they steal from me? Like, did they really steal from me? Like, you got to be kidding me. Like, if they stole from me, it's lit when I go back to school in the morning. What's good? What's poppin'? My name is Denzel Dion. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so there's some couple of announcements before we start this video. Um, not really serious announcements. Why do I sound like such a teacher right now? Okay, first announcement. Okay, my posting day on YouTube now is Sundays. Before I used to say weekly because I used to really not care. Like, I'll post whenever I feel like posting, but I'll, you have a video weekly. But now you know what day, so you know, you can get your popcorn, you can get whatever, you get your tea ready, you can get whatever you need. So, you know, I will be posting Sundays around 1 p.m. Pacific time. So, mark your calendars, turn on my post notification, and that's announcement number one. And I tried to make a promise instead of... I was gonna make my room cuter. I tried. I tried to make my room cute. The lights kept falling off, okay? I tried to make it all Tumblr girly. It did not happen. It didn't work, but it's okay. So, as you can tell by this title, it is not clickbait. I did get robbed by my best friend, okay? My best, 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 best friend. Okay. So let me give you the whole scenario, the whole synopsis, like I always do. Um, this was like my first best friend. Um, we met in the sixth grade. He was cool. I was cool. Um, we didn't get along in the beginning of the sixth grade. It was like a friend of me thing. I liked him, but I didn't like him. He used to piss me off, but I used to piss him off, okay? So we became really close, like January of sixth grade. So that was like January 2008, if you wanted to know the year. <laughs> but yeah, we became really close. And, um, he was pretty cool. We're gonna call him Joe, okay? So let me give you a whole description of Joe. Joe was Hispanic, Mexican to be exact. He didn't look Mexican, he looked very white. He got beat up by a gay kid in our school, okay? So that's where we got close because he got beat up by the I was like, oh my God. The reason I'm saying gay kid is because he got beat up by a kid, right? That he thought he was going to be because the kid was gay, but the kid destroyed him and I had to be there for him and that's how he became close. It was like, you know what? I took him to my house because I live right next to the school. Oh my gosh, memories. I took him to my house because I live right next to the school, wiped the blood off his nose, say you're okay, took him home and then we became best friends, okay? With this being said, um, Joe. Joe was a year older than all of us. Joe was about five, six. Joe was a pretty boy. Joe had all the girls. He was a pretty boy. He had spiky hair. His outfits used to be somewhat okay for middle school. You know what I mean? He used to mess with a lot of girls. Like, you know what I mean? Everybody was over. Everybody was all about Joe. Okay. So, me and Joe was cool to 6th grade, 7th grade, 8th grade. Wait, pause if you're watching. Of course you're watching. Okay? Subscribe, like this video, and then click play. So, back to the story. So, Joe, like, I trusted Joe with everything, okay? So, that's how he technically kind of robs me because I trusted him. I mean, you do trust your best friends, don't you? 7th grade, boom. 8th grade, okay. Now, with 8th grade, everybody in my school just felt like a savage. Everybody wanted to be a savage in 8th grade because 8th grade is your senior year of middle school, meaning you can do whatever you want to do and get out of it. You can't get out of it, but, like, if... Your school tells you they're gonna expel you and it's like close to the end of the year. You don't care because it's the eighth grade. Like, how can you fail the eighth grade? I do not know how you can fail the eighth grade. Like, just do your work and, like, if you get expelled or whatever, like, it doesn't matter. You're going to high school. So that's why everybody has a mentality in my school. So, a lot, when I see a lot of people savage, a lot of people are savage. And my best friend decided to be one and robbed me. Wow. And I don't know why I forgot this. My best friend had an accomplice, okay? So let me talk about the accomplice. We're gonna call him. D. So D decided, okay, I think he was a mastermind behind this because you know what? D didn't have a lot of money, okay? D was broke. I mean, who's not broke? I wasn't broke, bitch. But who doesn't really need money in middle school? I mean, you don't want to keep asking mom for uh, money in middle school. So D was broke, okay? So this is how the whole plan came along. D and Joe knew each other because they've been in the same little group since the sixth grade. So that's six, seven, and eighth, okay? That is three years. I hate when I say six to eighth and people think it's two years. Learn your math, okay? Sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade. Um, they knew each other for like, I can say, you can say three years. And um, they knew each other because they had the same living group, okay? And in middle school, I don't know if they still do this, but living groups are such a big deal in middle school, okay? You see them when you come in, you see them when you leave. And those are like your homies. Those are like your brothers if you're in a girl in a boy living group and those are like your sisters if you are in a girl living group okay so they knew everything well i mean what happened with them 
So they were cool. So it got to the point where I didn't really, well, me and this kid D never got along, but we got along because we were cool, but, okay. This is for another story time. I punched this girlfriend twice in the eye because she slapped me in the face and I gave her a black eye. So, me and um, D, after that we didn't really talk because he wanted to talk to me, but he didn't want to talk to me because his girlfriend would have dumped him for talking to me because I'm the one who punched her in the eye twice and gave her a black eye. Makes sense? Makes sense. But after he dropped, um, his girlfriend, he started to be friends with me because he's like, fuck her, like, we're not cool anymore, so I can still talk to you. When I had to invite Joe, Joe would ask D, okay? So it was like, if I invite you, I have to invite him too, so I was like, okay, whatever. So on this marvelous day, on Fridays, we used to get out at my school, we used to get out at 11.20 every Friday, my principal just did that just to let us have a good Friday. So Friday, we used to leave at 11.20, so 11.20 is like, damn, what are we gonna do? Okay, so I was like, you know what, come to my house. I don't invite people to my house because my mom has a lot of expensive things in my house and I don't like it to be stolen. But I was like, you know what, Joe won't say anything for me because he's my best friend. I mean, best friends are not supposed to thief from their best friend's house. I mean, that's how it works. Like, I'm a very trust, like, I, if I trust you, I trust you. Like, if I trust you, I'll leave my whole house with you and you get the keys. Because you know what, because I trust you. You know what I mean? But I should have never trusted Joe. <laughs> because, um... Joe robbed, like, thousands of dollars of jewelry, okay? So it was 11.20, okay, we got out of school, and I'm like, there's nothing to do. I was like, you know what, let's go to my house to plan, and I'm hungry anyways, I want to make food. I thought I was a chef back then. So I said, like, okay, and it was so easier for me to go to my house, okay, because um, my house was literally five minutes walking distance from the school, so everybody had to take a bus, so I had to walk. So I was like, you know what, let me go to um, my house, and... You guys can come if you guys want to come, and then we can plan what we're going to do after I eat. And if you guys are hungry, I'll make you food too. So there's okay, let's go, let's go, we're going to Denzel's house. We've never been to Denzel's house. Like, we always hear about it, but we've never been to Denzel's house. Because I don't know what's wrong with me in middle school. I don't know who I thought it was, but I would not let nobody know where I live. When people used to say they knew where I lived, I knew they were lying. Like, to go home, it was literally, I take a right, and then I take a left, and then I take another right. But to me, like... I didn't want nobody knowing where I live, so I used to make left, make right, make, like, I used to go all these different ways to get to my house because I didn't want nobody to know where I live. I don't know why. I just, it's because, I, I don't know, I lived in the Bronx, okay? And when someone finds out where you lay your head at night, I'm not saying anything would have happened to me, you just never know. When someone knows where you lay your head to sleep, it is very dangerous. You do not want to get on anybody's back side. We got home, got to my house, nobody was in my house. So I had the free crib. I had the free house to myself. So I was like, okay, I'm hungry. What do y'all want to eat? That's what you got to eat. I was like, I don't know. And he was like, okay, we want Chef Boyardee. I was like, oh, okay. You want spaghettis or the um, raviolis? They was like, spaghetti. I was like, okay. So you knowing me, I was so good. Like, came, cooked them or whatever. Then I went upstairs. I changed because I didn't like my clothes. I always change after school. I don't know why. I just feel like I can look better after school. So I'll go upstairs, change my clothes. And I left them downstairs in my living room. And... I didn't know my mom had jewelry. I really didn't know. I didn't know my mom had jewelry down there. My mom had, like, jewelry that my mom traveled to Europe to get. She had jewelry, like thousands of dollars of jewelry, okay? Like, I'm talking about thousands, like a lot of money, like a lot of money of jewelry. She had a big bag of jewelry and I didn't know about it. So, um, as I'm going upstairs to go change, freshen up, Joe and Dave decide to steal the jewelry, okay? Now, this is how they did it. When I went upstairs, you had um, Joe, like, by the staircase in my mom's room, because my mom's room would, like, get to take a staircase to go to our room, since so this was the master bedroom. And um, you would have Dee taking the jewelry. And how they did it was, I knew, I didn't know it was jewelry, I just knew it was a big red bag. Like, the big red bag, I didn't know my mom would keep jewelry in there. Like, Ma, why would you do that? Why would, why would you leave jewelry like that? You know what I mean? He would like dig in, take all the jewelry, and like keep looking back, back and forth. I kept coming up and down, so he was stopping, like, what are y'all doing? He was like, nothing. I'm like, oh, okay. He was like, I'm just looking for the remote. I was like, okay, cool. That's what D said. And I'm like, Joe, like, why are you up? Like, what's the problem? He was like, oh, no, nah, I was just looking for the bathroom. I said, the bathroom was right there. He said, okay. And then I go downstairs and I make some food. And they eat, and they're rushing to go so bad. I'm like, why y'all wanna go? He's like, nah, Joe is like, my father, I need to get home because my father's gonna beat me, I'm grounded. I'm like, okay, and then D's like, I need to go home, I need to go home now, I live all the way in Manhattan, like, I need to go before my metro card stops working because in New York City, when they give you a school metro card, your metro card doesn't stop past 
5.30. No, it doesn't stop past 8.30. I'm like, okay, it's literally only 12 p.m., but if you have to go, go. So, I didn't put two and two together. I'm like, okay, so they, I was like, okay, let me just make, I'm already making the food for y'all, so what do y'all want me to do? They were like, okay, now we'll eat the food, and then we'll just leave after. Okay, so um, they ate the food, and they left. And the day was fine, but let me tell you how I found out they stole the jewelry. So, um, I was sleeping like a baby. My mom barged into my room and woke me up with the Xbox cable charger, okay? With the Xbox um, charger, okay? And um, when I say woke me up with an Xbox charger, I mean she beat the shit out of me. My mom whooped my ass. When I'm saying my mom whooped my ass, my mom has never beat me so hard. She didn't give me that one explanation. She just rammed me. Beat, beat. And I'm, I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, like, I'm screaming, my mom, like, okay, the Xbox char- I don't have an Xbox now, but the Xbox charger is the thick gray one, okay? It's the thick gray one, like, if you play- just search it up, okay? So, she woke me up, like, when I say she woke me up, she woke me up, and she was not giving me anything, she was just beating the shit out, beating the shit out of me, I'm screaming, I'm screaming, I'm screaming, and my brother's like, what happened, what happened, what happened? My mom was like, where's all the jewelry? Like, she probably thought I pawned, I'm like, what jewelry? She takes the bag, there's literally, like, one bracelet left. Like one bracelet off, like she pulls it out, and it was a huge bag. I'm like, oh my god! I said, I don't know where it's at, and I'm trying to think, like, what the? Like, I was the only one at home. My mom was like, "Where's the jewelry?" Like, she's asking me, like, waiting for me to say a pawn it or something. I'm like, what are you talking about? What jewelry? And she just goes off and she starts hitting me again, and I'm like, oh my god! And then so I ran upstairs, and she tried to catch me. I think I ran downstairs and I locked myself in the laundry room. So I locked myself in the laundry room. It's so hot, I'm sweating bullets, and I'm just like, I can't fall asleep here because I will die. So I just wait for my mom to go upstairs and go to sleep. And I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck happened to the jewelry? And I'm like, whoa. Did they steal from me? Like, did they really steal from me? Like, you got to be kidding me. Like, did they stole from me? It's lit when I go back to school in the morning. So I go back to school early in the morning. Like, I'm waking up 7 a.m. I am up. My school started at 9 30. I did not care. I was by the school at 8 for breakfast. Yes, I will be eating an egg sandwich. I was waiting, okay, to meet them. And the next day, when I tell you the next day, day, um, what did I call him? D. D has never been so fly in his life, okay? He has never been so fly in his life. New sneakers, new shirt, new jeans, okay? And a G-Shock watch. I'm like, since when did you have all this money? Like, okay, be smart with it. Okay, if you're trying to pawn something, pawn it like weeks, months later. He pawned, after they stole the jewelry, they pawned it the same day. That's why they left so early, okay? They left at noon. They pawned it that same day, went to go shopping. It came back to school the next day fresh. So I see D, and then I'm like, where's Joe? And then I see Joe, and Joe already gives me that look. Like, he's like, I, like, I really did fuck up. Like, he looks like he felt so bad. I'm like, y'all stole from me, and y'all had my mom beat the shit out of me, waking me up with an Xbox charger, and you guys over here using the money you guys pawned with the jewelry with y'all stuff. And I'm like, y'all really thieves, like, y'all really bum thieves. Like, you guys are so broke, dirty, disgusting. I was going off on them, and then, um... Joe, like, felt really bad that he still had the jewelry. He still has some jewelry left that he didn't get to pawn. I said, I don't care. Like, keep it. My mom already whipped my ass. Like, I don't need the jewelry anymore. You know what I mean? Like, and then after that, like, people just know they were thieves. And I, everything that happened, I always brought it up. Ever since then, like, I always bring it up. Like, y'all really stole from me. I can't believe my best friend robbed me. Like, that's not stealing. You robbed. Like, you really robbed me. And you know what the thing is? I know. So that was it for the story time. If you'd like to give it a big thumbs up, please like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like I said, you see me, I'm doing it. You watch, I post, you don't watch, I don't post, so watch. And until then, see you later.